Hello, Comic Shop Bro here today playing Medieval Total War Gold Edition as the Scots, that's right, here in Scotland. Beautiful Scotland! Alright, so we have to worry about the Northumbrians and the Picts. Unfortunately, we don't really have a big army, so we're going to have to focus on that. A warrior hold, definitely. Forest clearing, definitely. But see, the forest clearing takes 16 years. So are we going to build in soil? I don't know. Another warrior hold. Water watch towers, improve farmland, of course. And take whatever we've got and move it to Regan. Ooh, oh no! So we built a bunch of shit. Worry olds. Should we just go straight for the pigs? I don't think we should. It probably is a smart idea. But they don't really have much going on over there. If you look to the east, I mean their armies are kind of small. I sit aside oh they got they got Celtic warriors. Oh, milk on yeah, yeah, that's no good. No good at all. But we most certainly want money. And remember it's a Scottish clansman, so those are the good kind of clansmen. <laughs> So war against the Picts seems necessary. So we're going to take our forces out of Riada. Wait, is it Dol Riada? Yeah, Dol Riada. Uh, the more troops we're going to build, and we're going to send them right over into a. Uh, should we go to Feb? Feb or a Fortla? A Fortla? What's well, such a weird name? I can't pronounce that. What do you think I am? I think I'm capable of such pronunciations. Absolutely not. Look at this guy. Frasier of Gobam. Oh, so that was him. He's got some high high stats. Look at that lordy. Mm. So we're going to make him the Thane of Del Riada. Because he's already loyal. And you know what? Let's marry him to our daughter. A hey, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Alright. Should we just go ahead and go for Fib? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going in. We're going to take this over from the peaks. You dirty bastards. Scots is for the Scottish! Scotland is for the Scottish, is probably the more proper way of putting it. Uh, they, brought, they actually brought Pictish crossbowmen. But see, my armies are made purely of Highlander clansmen. So the prince matured. Prince Oida. Oida? Oida. He's a secret blackmailer and a killer instinct. That's good, at least he got something going for him. So let's take what we've got, all these beautiful clansmen, and send them back over to our fib. Let's try it again, round two. This time we've got cavalry to assist us in the fight. Phenomenal. What's this? Catholic bitch up? Not doing anything. Standing around. Whip up some zeal! Get her out of this, uh, these pagans and these heretical cults for something good. Ha ha! The Picts have decided they cannot win the battle or are retreating. Out of Fib. Now we've owned it. So, we could go straight for the Pictish King in Moray, but we're going to play it safe and uh, not do that at the sake of not losing an entire army. Alternatively, if we take the troops out of Fib, move straight through Athfatla, and then Moray, we might be able to cut them off. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Might not work out in our favour, but it'll be hilarious if it actually works. So it looks like the Picts have decided to hold it at Fotla. Unfortunately for them, we're not going to give them any mercy. So here we are on the battlefield of Athfotla with uh, heavy downpour easing later. Let's go ahead and attack. We don't really have much range units. Most of the army is made up of clansmen, good strong clansmen, exactly the way we need it. We're going to start by bringing our troops, moving them up, into no particular formation, but we'll try to bring the cavalry around from the rear. Let's go ahead and hit that speed slider. Alright. Oh, well, that's a steep cliff to climb. But you know what? We're going to do it anyway. Forward, men. Bravely go where no Scotsman has gone before. To a degree. Oh, jeez. Time to slow it down. The enemy archers are raining hell down upon us. No bueno, no bueno. Bring more troops up to the side of the hill. Oh, sweet. 
that is Scotland! And we'll actually get our Heinz, Hi Highlanders. And you know what, we're gonna charge them right up the centre. Right up the hill. Put them in loose formation so they're not getting wiped out by arrows. We've already lost 15. We've got this man forward! Or not. You can kind of drag ass if you want to do that. that, that you can do that. Fucking piece of shite. Well, maybe it's a steep cliff and that's why they can't get up fast enough. The enemy is charging down the hill. That means they'll have a massive advantage against us. But don't worry. We're charging in hard and heavy. Oh, shit. I forgot to put them back in close formation. <laughs> that's, that's an additional an additional helping of no bueno. So it looks like we have a slight, slight chance of bringing this back. Let's bring the cavalry up to the side. Faster, you, you slow bastards. You come up behind the spearmen and crush them from the rear. And hopefully, hopefully, this will be a glorious victory for the Scots! That's right. Actually, we're going to come up right behind those arches. Oh no, we're gonna come up behind the enemy general. The enemy general flees. Oh yeah. It looks like the picks are retreating. Not before they haven't inflicted a shit ton of cavil cavalry casualties upon us. That's unacceptable. We'll just have to take what we got, accept it for what it is, and continue onward from here. But this is a first major victory for Scotland. And I'm glad to have been a part of it. See, I just cannot do that Scots accent for too long without going into something British or something American or something Australian. Jesus. A Japanese accent's so much easier to do. Just be like, just be like, Oh, da 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 da. How clansman how succeeded. Glorious victory. Oh, we took heavy casualties. Good. Shame for the spray. Well, I'm proud to say we have effectively defeated the Picts and Afotla with only two men holding the castle. So, what we can do now is we can take our forces from Afotla and move them into Moray and take over Moray. That's probably what we're going to do. But, in the meantime, I am going to take a break from doing Scottish accent because Jesus fucking Christ, it's so hard to maintain that for an extended period of time, especially when you're not a trained voice actor. <laughs> anyway, this has been Commissar Bro, and I'll see you next time.